Okay, time for the, yeah, yeah, right? Big reveal here. I don't know, after five or more years, we're gonna finally show you the other side of the house. Are you ready to show everybody? Yeah. All right, let's go. We call this the portal. The portal, yes. The space between. I think it's important too, that maybe we, right before we go in, we show from the outside too, like the front door. Y'all know the front of the house. And then obviously the stone side. And then this is the entrance to the other side. Now someday we will have a much nicer front porch with doors and windows and stuff. But I think that this is important to show. Welcome to the other side. The cats love being over here. To start off, this is, I guess... For the apartment side, it's like the living room. Mm -hmm. Some features that I like are all of the windows have these things. Plantation shutters. Plantation shutters. We're definitely keeping them. Yeah. They are wicked cool. And I also, though it may not stay here, I like this built-in because it is made of real wood, inch thick. I'll probably be careful when I take that out and then reuse it somewhere. Um, this door here goes to the new porch. You wanna go into the kitchen and show everybody? You can see the decorations. The, kid de the kid's decorated. <laughs> Sarah's already using the kitchen. She's got her dehydrator over here. I've been <laughs> prepping like tons of apples. Yeah. So it's like outside of my kitchen. It's really nice to have two kitchens. It is kind of nice to have a an apartment. Apple fruit roll-up. Mmm. It's fruit roll-up. Nice. Um, yeah, the kitchen, you know, nothing real special, obviously, and it doesn't really matter because it's all getting ripped out anyways. Now, we should talk size-wise. Um, this is probably 27 foot long and it's 17 foot wide i have no idea about load bearing walls non-load i don't know any of that yet i won't until i rip into it one thing to point out that's important to point out is that this floor slopes violently and so i just i've always known that the something's going on down there but we'll get that fixed i'm sure well, then here, obviously, you know, most of you could have figured this out, that the, st the house has two sets of stairs, technically. The so yes, I do. We will be taking this set of stairs out and we'll be doing windows and stuff here because then you have a really nice view out there. Are you ready? You want to show? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of hard. Except for that one. Yeah. That it's hard yeah. to see anything that way. There's not a lot of good windows in this whole side of the house, really. Before we go to show the upstairs, I'd like to take a three-minute break and talk about this week's video sponsor. Take a break down here in the wood shop. Talk about this week's video sponsor. And that's our friends over at Federal Brace. It's the same company. I don't know how to say this. If it's like a parent company or a sister company to Killarney Metals. Um, it was years ago now, but Killarney Metals sent me the uh, washing machine pan. And so they have another company called Federal Brace, and they wanted to send us something to, uh, to try out, and it's this huge hunk of metal. And what, what this is is a bracket that they make that's for um, a floating shelf, I guess, is the best. I think that's what people call them. On their website, and I'll link you in the description, there's a lot of options here. Lots of different types of brackets, different colors, shapes, sizes. So check it out. The link is in the description. Pre-made holes that are kind of like slots. So when you go to hang it on the wall, you know, you've got lots of options there. These holes are set 16 inch away from each other too. So you should be able to hit your studs in like a perfectly studded house. Anyways, 
when you buy a brace from Federal Brace, in, the, in our case, you have to make a shelf. I think they do have some shelves that you can just buy. And that's probably what I should have done. Because um, making a shelf for this was a little bit more in depth than I thought it was going to be. I'm not even sure how it, how it turned out. Because it's been gluing up all night. So what you got to do is you got to build your shelf to be kind of hollow like that. And it just goes like this and slides, slides in and, and sits flush to the wall. I used ash for the main shelf in which I cut miters for every corner. And it should kind of look like it flows. So it's kind of going to give the appearance of like one big thick shelf, which is I think three and a quarter inches thick. It's a very thick shelf. Um, but when you do that, when you have a piece of wood and you, and you cut it all up and you glue it all together, well then it's, it's not just open on one side, it's open on both sides. So what I did for that is I planed down a really thin piece of walnut and I glued it to the face of that. A federal brace is the exact thing that you should think of when you think of a American company. Based out of North Carolina, and it was started in 2009 by a couple brothers. And they care a lot about customer service and quality of work. It's just very obvious when you talk to this company on the phone that you as their customer is their number one concern. Everybody's walking toward the dead road On a place in a foreign world Dead away isn't broken like a starlet I am drunk but I'm made for her I was made to fall In knowing how much of a family business Federal Brace was, that motivated me to build this shelf and make it as nice as I could and to put some pictures on it of Sarah's brother that passed away and, and my grandfather and grandmother. Um, this is a very special piece to me. It's, it's going to be in my house forever. I was made to fall in love with you. So see that little line? That's the center of the bracket. This line right here is the center of my wall. So it wants to be right there. Get it level. Get it level. And don't ever call level plumb. Because then the level police visit the channel. Is that good? It's easy. It's a big deep shelf. We can put a lot of stuff up there. I want to see the very deep shelf. Like way up there. Thank you so much, Federal Brace, for sending me this bracket and giving me the opportunity to make a family heirloom shelf. This will truly be in my house forever, and I really do appreciate you sending it to me. Um, but now it's time to get back to the video. We're going to show you the upstairs of the apartment now, and I appreciate you all watching this, and I would encourage you to check out Federal Brace. They have a lot of very nice, high quality products. So now I've made this and I've made that. And this and this. This, 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 this. this, this, this. this. Yeah, this. This. Okay, so top of the stairs here, you can kind of get an idea of the slant. Sarah's what, five foot six? Five five, so that's not too bad of a slant, really. And the ceilings themselves are eight foot high. Yeah, that's so nice. I just kind of thought, like, we won't have to raise these ceilings. Like, 
Yeah, the kids love this little landing and there's a closet over there now. I'll show you the bathroom. Okay, you can show me the bathroom. The bathroom. bathroom is probably the same age as uh, the little bathroom was on the other side of the house. A lot of pink and you can just tell from the sink and things like this. And I noticed this is like one of those razor blade drops. Like, I'm pretty sure this is just all straight out of the 50s, right? Like, that's... Late 40s, early 50s, probably. Yeah. Well, the, the house got plumbing in 1948. Mm -hmm. So it's very possible that this is an original bathroom from 1948. Yeah. This is the last room upstairs, and it's what we would call now the bedroom. Um, this is facing towards the new... The new... Uh, porch and you know like the garden area and yep there's another closet and then this obviously then faces the uh front of the house um let me get in the corner you know obviously the stone side of the house is over there we're not even really sure where the door is that we framed up over there we have no idea where that is if it's there, there, that who, who knows? We'll find out. I feel like it's a little lackluster in, in, in the surprise. I mean, we, we didn't show anybody the other side because, well, frankly, somebody was living here. And I don't feel like we had the right to do that. Uh, but yeah, so, and then, you know, I don't think that we need to get too excited over what we see here either because it's all going to get ripped out. Like, I may try to reuse a couple things but yeah, it's it's all gonna change. Um, it it is baseboard heat too. That's all hooked to my current boiler. I mean, that's all coming out. We're not gonna do baseboard heat. In fact, we'll probably the only heat on the whole upstairs of this is I'll probably do heated floors in whatever bathroom I build, and this this area will stay warm enough if it's spray foamed. We won't need to have an, another heat source. Um, downstairs, you know, the kitchen and the dining room area, all of that will be tiled and in floor heat. And that will more, more than heat everything. But that's it. I mean, short and sweet, 10 minute walk through. I guess this is what we've got to work with. Oh, and just, uh, I guess to get everybody's bearings, this right now, obviously is the portal. This is how we get across, but the door will actually be here. It's a much bigger portal door than what we're using now. It's that big opening there. And that, that is a 50 inch wide uh, armoire. I think that's what that's called. So you, that will be the, the main entrance. This will end up probably being a built-in. On the other side, it will be a closet. I know that you're all excited to start. I will tell you that we probably won't just get right to it because the cost of materials is just astronomical. I may wait until winter time, hoping that the demand kind of lowers a little bit for building material, thus maybe lowering the price. It's how it should work. Do you want to take a guess now of how long it's going to take? We were spot on when we guessed the stone side. We guessed five years. It was five years. I'm going to guess three years for the other side. I want to say two. I really do want to say two. I want to say two. But, but I'm going to say three. And I think it's because I'm not going to be limited. Um, I'm not going to be limited by time because we live here. I'll be able to work every day if I want to. I'm limited by budget. Because we're not going into debt for this renovation, I just don't think I'm going to be able to save enough money to work quickly in two years. Because you're talking about, you know, a kitchen, a bathroom, and a couple other rooms. It's going to be kind of expensive, obviously. Everything is. So we'll see. I'm going to guess three years. You're going to guess two years? I'm guessing two. It'll probably end up being two then because Sarah's usually right. <laughs> It'll be like two and a half years. Maybe we'll both be kind of right. But that's it. Um, 
Let me know what you think in the comments. I don't know. Let me know what you think in general. I know that was the first time that a lot of you have seen that. So let me know what you think. But until, until the next video, I'll see you later. Do you want to say bye? Bye. 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 <laughs>